and kind of our catch-all phrase, it was um, home elements and found good. I wanted to do kind of just a, a, a creative spin on like the whole farm to table movement and the whole like embracing the South and history and all of that and, um, and how we're really honing in on avoiding even a lot of the reproductions but going for the the, the authentic. actual authentic primitive pieces and not just saying we're from the south but actually going out into the deep south yeah. and digging through the junkyards and the characters along the way and, mm -hmm. and the what, stories told and it is fun yeah i mean it's not a pretty sight like it's yeah, there's nothing attractive you're about usually it. going into places that have no ac and it's dirty and you're covered in rust and you're you know but it's an adventure. We just tend to try to hit the back roads in small towns. Like you get off the interstate and you follow the smaller little highways that take you through the little one stoplight towns, you know? Most of those towns have kind of dried up, but then there's a few of the retail fronts that have turned into some mom and pop antique stores. And you step into one and then it's like, oh, well, I see what you like. And if you want to go down the road and look for a guy with a red truck parked out front of this building with no sign, you know, red will treat you real nice, yeah. especially small town America. People are nice. People want to talk to you. and mm -hmm. um, so. They do want to talk and they want to support the person that's doing something the same as them too, where they don't find it as a competitive business. They find it as like something they all have in common and they like to share right. their stories and share where they've, you know, how they met and how they know each other. and. So it ends up being a long day. I find that a lot of the shops I go into, um, if I can't either afford or there's no sort of you know ability to mark anything up that they're already selling in their shop, if you strike up a conversation, nine times out of ten, they have a junk pile behind their store. Yeah. And like, <laughs> I, I left the woman's cat out in Alabama and notice that she had just a huge pile of stuff. Yeah. And I, you know, and then you're like, well, Miss Sanders, may I go out there? And she's like, well, sweetie, there's nothing out there but rust. And I was like, yes, ma'am, that's what we like. But yeah. Laura and I, being both from Tennessee, we've, I think our accents have mellowed somewhat mm -hmm. coming this way. And our, but um, when you get into those towns, both of our accents and our Southern upbringing and our Southern manners get very get thick out. Yeah. and very sweet and very, mm -hmm takes you a long way and a lot of the you know those old gentlemen that want to tell you the story and can only hear out of the one ear you stand on that one side and sir no sir and it tends to work out much better than if somebody got, went in there and tried to push and not listen and not yeah show respect for something because they truly if they're collecting they've been collecting for years and mm -hmm. odds are their dad collected or they're and they're proud somebody and they're proud and they want to share it with you and appreciate that you love it like they do i mean mom used to constantly we would drive around and and look at different structures and th you know buildings and in Tennessee, there would be beautiful homesteads would be completely collapsing on themselves, and just no one ever came back. Somebody passed, and the house would just be dropping to the yeah. ground. Yeah, and I mean, if you look at like a column, and you find that just that finial top, you know, and if you cut it off and make a candle, you know, holder, or those kinds of pieces are incredibly artful. Mm -hmm. And if you just look at it in a new way of how you can use it and bring it back to life, um, it's so much more exciting than going out and buying something in That's a brick and mortar right. store. You know, and able to do something that we love just by digging and scratching and collecting things that we think are beautiful. But it's then looking at it and going, man, that would be amazing with a classic white orchid arrangement in it. Because it's that interesting juxtaposition of like rust and, mm -hmm. and had this utilitarian kind of purpose that now we've taken it and given it a whole nother purpose. So that's what we really like looking at them 
just from a completely different perspective. Mm -hmm. um, and we both came, both have art backgrounds, and so it's just another way of using, of, our, of using our art and yeah. our artistic background. When you start to feel like you're playing Tetris and try to stack it. <laughs> Always very good at Tetris. This rusty gold. <laughs> 